right, so this person said they had a 2019 team. They only have one legendary, right? But they have Toxic Croak. So anyone that knows anything about me knows that I've been talking up how good Toxic Croak is in VDC 2019 for like a week. I've been doing it for like a week on Twitter. Like I can show you guys the post. Every single time someone's like, I need to check for Xerneas, Toxic Croak. I need to check for Kyogre, Toxic Croak. I need to check for Ferrothone, Toxic Croak. Like Toxic Croak can does it all. It's like a Swiss Army knife in VDC 2019. Also has Fake Out, gets Faint, this Pokemon's packing huge huge sick stuff I got the idea for you that's what he says like there you go all right yeah I want to see this toxic croak in action you gotta see it in action also there's a Bisharp and a Yveltal how am I actually supposed to use my Metagross guys how am I supposed to use Metagross that's so good all right we're gonna do this I only want to go with those two as my lead. I think I'm going to do this as well. And then it's kind of hard, but I think I have to go with that as my last one. All right, here we go. Well, I get to go away for a few weeks, and now there's a face cam. There's been a face cam for, like, weeks. Yeah, it's been a hot minute. We used to have a face cam. We've, like, the only reason we didn't have a face cam is because I was in, it didn't work for, like, the month that I didn't have it. We do face cam here. I got my star says they have a VGC 2019 ready about me too. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Here we go. Boo Bisharp starting things off. Boo and Bisharp. Now, I cannot rage powder a Boo I can't. Unfortunately, you know, we can't rage powder Boo That's okay though. It's okay, guys, because we got Fario on the board. I have a VGC 2010 Pokemon you can use now in VGC battle. Yeah, I, I agree. They're pretty good. They're pretty good. Actually, gonna open up with this, and I want to see if that Bulu's rocking roar. I want to see if it's a roar Bulu. Sorry, whirlwind. Same thing, you know. Same difference. I want to see if Bulu's packing the wood hammer. And hectic. I don't know. I didn't realize it. it says I got my hands on one of those event Lugia sent from a friend stationed in Japan. Yo, lit. I can use a few legendary Pokemon now. Only a couple. Only two. Oh my gosh, the scarf Bulu. I know it's scarfed. It has to be scarfed. Show me that choice scarfness. Coming in on my boy, Amoongus. Iron Head blocked. Blocked, boys. Flinching my Amoongus. Are you absolutely kidding me right now? Are you actually just... Are you kidding me? Oh, well. Well, that's not great. So, Scarf Bulu. Like, if this is the... If he's Scarfed, he's just gonna Rock Slide. This is fine. We'll just redirect the Bisharp for a while. Yep. Scarf Bulu Rock Slide. It's pretty good, guys. VC 2018. Scarf Bulu Rock Slide. Sorry, 2019. Scarf Bulu Rock Slide. The double flinches potential. Yo, real fresh gamer. How's it going? Hubert flinches! Oh my gosh, I'm flinched twice right now, guys. I'm flinched twice. It's absolutely ridiculous. Guys, put some RNGs up in chat if you think it's absolutely ridiculous that I've been flinched twice. I want to see him. Eventually, you know, we'll be able to go for a Geomancy. And it'll be absolutely amazing. Right, that's the plan. I didn't know Boo had a King's Rock on. But it's okay. Let's see what he's going for here. Yeah, there's some RNG. Can you imagine if he's team was Let's Go? I mean, I'd rather it be Let's Go than getting flinched two times in a row. That's right. You miss what you miss. And you, you we take those. You can't flinch what you don't hit, my guy. Spore connects. Making the connections with Spore, guys. That's what I'm talking about, though. And remember, Bisharp falls asleep. He hasn't even started a sleep counter. Because the first turn that it's going to be asleep is going to be this next turn. So Bisharp's going to be at least asleep for, like, two turns, pretty much. So that gives us just enough time to go for some young Geomancies. And remember, we're just going to be popping clear smogs up on that Bulu. Super effective. Four times stab. Amoongus coming with that big damage. How is Slaw's working out? It's working out amazing. I love it. Obviously switching out the uh, Bishop right there. Coming in with the, with the Toxic Croak, though. All right. Boo's going for more Rock Slides. Cruise Control for cool. Po playing the Pokemon TCG game from the Game Boy, and I bet it's going to feel like Fry for Future. I'm going to play the outdated version. Did he freaking flinch me again? He flinched me again, guys. Again with the flinches. It's absolutely ridiculous how often I've been flinched. Three times. Th three in a row, actually. Three in a row. Three three for three. 
You saying fling fake out? Yeah, that's my set on my Salazzle, and I want to say that I invented it because I did. Pretty much, I'm the first person to really do stuff with fling fake out in pretty much any format. Uh, started in like 2015, I used it a lot. Three for three for flinches. Rockslide, you're gonna PP out eventually. You're gonna PP out, I swear. So he's not fake outing either, so that's good. Amoongus is almost within range for a berry. Gunk shot, boys! Blocked! Alright, Amoongus. Spore. Yeah, that's right, we got spores for days. You can use alternate cross Missouri Spell to rush around Zekrom Age of Slash 2019. I love that. No, you, you can't use those. You can't use Ultra Necrozma. You, you can only use two of those. Yeah, playing Fake Out should be known as the That's a Special. If Pugnator gets it. Like, that's the That's Plus One Special. Guys, if you want to see the evolution of playing, playing Fake Out throughout the years, check out that YouTube right there. That's where all the good content is. All right, the Grassy Train's gone, which means I'm not going to be getting that much more HP. But you know what? I promise you that I will be getting up this Geomancy as soon as possible. It just might take a few minutes. I mean, how many more rock slides you got, my guy? How many more you got? You're going to proc my Amoongus Berry here. I really appreciate that. Procking that berry on my Amoongus. That's what I'm talking about right here. Berry's up Figgy, if I'm not mistaken. There we go, Figgy Berry. Talks over to sleep. Note that it's faster than my Xerneas right now. Just to Oh, he didn't flinch me! Yes! Oh, man. It feel I feel so validated. I feel so validated that I did not get flinched. Actually, my Amoongus is going Star says I check online. Yeah, so that's for the Ultra series. Right now, we're playing the Sun series, which means Ultra Necrozma is banned, Red Orb, Blue Orb banned, Mega Ray Plays are banned. Dude, I didn't get flinched by any of his attacks. Can you believe that RNG? Yo, can you believe that RNG that I didn't get double flinched by Rock Slide? Yo, it was the first time for everything, I swear. So, Toxicroak is asleep. Bisharp hanging out in the back is asleep. We haven't seen the last Pokemon, but like, Hubert... And Amoongus, they got this on lock right now. Bite me after with my revenge on Hubert? Maybe. Maybe. Just maybe. I actually am going to just Moonblast the Vicable and just go for Rage Powders. Like, I, I want to Moonblast it because I actually, I personally like Vicavolt with, uh, I personally use Vicavolt with a vest. And so, like, I want it off the board. And worst case scenario, you know, we don't KO it, or it's Sash or something weird. Like, worst case, you know, if the Vicavolt got crit, yo, hacks. RNG for me. Um, either way, Vicavolt goes down, but let's say if we didn't KO it, yeah, Toxic, getting that wake up gunk shot, see? That's why we use Rage Powder, guys. That's why we use Rage Powder for this exact situation when they get the one turn sleep wake up. It's okay, we got Mons in the back, ready, willing, and able to deal with this. We got Salazzle on deck. Now, only one of these guys in the back can be holding a Sash Arena. How's it going, Fort Fortney God? How's it going, Fortney? Okay. I mean, I'm just going to pop that D Gleam, everybody. Dazzling Gleam all the way across this guy. And I actually just want... I think I could actually just get away with going with a, a Flamethrower on the Toxicroak. It's going to be... Doing extra damage on on Toxic Croak's, what is it, dry skin? Yeah. And worst case scenario, like, it would get redirected if we one-shot the Toxic Croak, because it's Neutron Toxic Croak, and yeah. We made the right play, and we take it. GG. GG. And we're locking loaded, ready to go, waiting on him. And another VGC 2019 Sun Series battle. Using my reindeer team. Using my wonderfully awesome reindeer team. Here we go. Game two on deck. And we got some bits. We got bits from. What a how's it going with those bits? Keep those bits all the way up, guys. All the way across the sky. Now let's see what we're working with. Give me one sec. Alright. I just had to check a couple things. We got Salazzle and Hubert starting things off. Yo, Salazzle is pretty good. Gastrodon Vickabolt. Now, one of those mons the problem. I know Gastrodon gets like clear smog, but like do I care about Gastrodon? Do I, like, really care? That's the that's the question, isn't it? Do I really care? Should I have Gudra in competitive team? Yeah! Gudra's awesome. No, Gudra's amazing. I love Gudra. Gudra's, like, one of my favorite Pokemon. Is he really gonna clear smog me? You know what? I'll... I'll let... I'd rather... I think there's a higher chance of him thunder-waving me or electro-webbing me than clear smogging me. So what we're gonna do is we're actually just gonna fake out the Vicavolt Geo in his face and force him to clear smog. There's a higher chance that he actually goes for an Earth Power of my Salazzle or a Scald my Salazzle. I think it's okay. 
that's that's the plan. Yeah, no, Gudra's good. Gudra's good. That's totally a good Pokemon. I love Gudra. Yo, crits up! You better not clear smog me, my guy. I'll be so mad. There's no really good dragon types right now. There are. Dude, how's it hanging? It's flawless right now. It's flawless. Playing Savitas 2019 viewer battles. If you guys got teams, we could play some games. Play some games. You guys got some battles. So, let's see it. Vicavolt flinches. Gastron. He did the cool smug. He's so good. Look how good this Gastron is. Look how good he is. Oh my gosh. Took away my stat boost. Not like this. Not to my boy, Hubert. Hubert didn't deserve any of that. Did you, did you think... I'm just, I'm so upset now. Hubert is just so, look how sad you made Hubert. He's, he's crying. <laughs> okay. This is what you do when they hit you with that curse mock. Yo, bits up! Cheers up! We take those. So we're going to flamethrower the Vicavolt because we know that the Vicavolt's not holding up fast or anything significant. Vicavolt goes down. We're going to hard cast the Geomancy here, guys. We're going to hard cast it. And we're going to get our boost back. We're going back to reality. That's fine. I think. I think that's fine. Did we really just hard cast? Did we really just hard cast Geomancy? Yes, we did. Because we're crazy. Crazy good. So, Bulu comes in here. I can't redirect the Bulu. Is he going for the Rock Slide shenanigans once again? Is this my life? Or is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide. Can't escape from the reality of Rock Slide. And let's see. We just got to go for the Rage Powder, my guys. Rage Powder is up. If we get this Geo off, though. Rage Powder. He can't clear smog. My Xerneas. He could flinch me with a Rock Slide. He's going for the Wood Hammer. Oh, he's going for the damage. Yo, he's going for the damage. Little does he know. My Xerneas. Hubert, my boy, is extra thick. Extra like that would have one shot at any other common Xerneas, but not but not my boy Hubert Not my boy Hubert mm -mm. Goes for an ice beam. He knew I was going for the rage powder. That's the correct play. Hey, you know what? We're fine We're fine. I think that's a okay hmm. How do I want to deal with this? All right, I got a plan This is my plan. One of our sets are similar. Are you talking about me? Maybe. Oh. Guys, my team's going to put in some work this season. I wonder if our sets are similar. And maybe. Woodhammer. Blocked! Ice Beam. Going for those reeds. He's still not going for it. That's the correct play. He's going for the freeze. Arena, me amigos. And you know what? He's just procking my figgy berry. Because Amoongus knows what's up. Has that damage reduction through its EV bulk. And we spore the Gastron. And again, like I said, that slow spore. So important because it makes the Gastron hasn't even started at sleep turns. They have to be asleep. It's guaranteed. It's the mechanics of the game. But they have to be asleep the very first turn that uh, it says, like, your Pokemon is asleep. So Gastron's going to have to hold that L right now. So what we can actually do in this situation is just hard switch in Lele. And go for a Moonblast on that Bulu. Because we know Bulu's scarfed. He, like, has to hold the L. Like, he can switch, but then he's not switched because the Moongus switches first. But I was like, whatever switches has to hold the L, guys. We got our Geomancy clear smogged. And then set up a second one. Well, some obvious Zern and Kyogre, not so much. I mean, my spreads are kind of weird on most of my mons. They are weird. Look at that big damage, boys. The biggest. Extra thick. And what you got is your last mon. Is it going to be the Yveltal? Are you ready to bust out your Yveltal just yet? Maybe. Toxicroak. All right. Well, we already know the DP one-shots that. So we win. We win. So we just uh, go for a nice big Psychic onto that Gastrodon. And just a nice Dazzling Gleam. Because Dazzling one-shot a Toxicroak last time. Right. Right. I'm pretty right. Unless, like, we super high-rolled his Toxicroak, which I highly doubt... I mean, Toxicroak is my boy. I think it's the best Pokemon, but you got you got to play it like you got to surround it with a better team. I feel that Toxicroak was the right call, but like the team let Toxicroak down. Like Toxicroak isn't spo supposed to support Gastron. It's supposed to support like Kyogre. So 
I don't know. Either way, GG, my man. Hope you all enjoyed that little demonstration of what you should be doing in situations where they do get rid of your Xerneas Geomancy boost. There's always, like, like I said earlier, like, I've said this multiple times. Even if Power Herb Xerneas, like, wasn't legal, like, if Power Herb wasn't legal, I would still just be using Xerneas. It's that good. It's just that good.